All right, so welcome back. In the last video, we built out kind of this left side nav here. And in this one, we're gonna be doing uh, some image uploading. So as you see here, we just have a kind of a placeholder for our profile picture, um, our avatar. And we're gonna to wanna to replace that or be able to update that. So we wanna be able to click here and have some way of updating our image along with that. Now, how we're gonna do that? We're gonna use this puppy over here, Cloudinary. So why don't you come over here, um, sign up for this, and they have a pretty nice little free tier. So that is good for our testing purposes. So come over, sign up. Uh, you'll see you got some information here. And once you are here, we're gonna come over to here to the settings. And once you're in here, we're gonna head over to upload here. And you're gonna scroll down here all the way to see something called upload presets. And we're gonna to wanna to add one of these. So you can see I already have one added here, but I'll show you how to do it. So you go add upload preset. You're gonna name it whatever you want, um, the signing mode here. So we're gonna do just an unsigned one right now. So it's gonna be less secure. Um, and I'll show you at the end how you can actually do a signed one too. But just for this simplicity's sake, we're gonna do an unsigned one. So click unsigned for that. If you wanna add it to a folder or something, you can go ahead and do that and add a name. And then that is it. And then go ahead and click save. Um, so that is good for that. So that should look something like this for us. We're just gonna use this Darwin one and uh, then come back over to your dashboard. Okay, and you're gonna see your account details are here. Now, uh, we're gonna, you're gonna click go more here and you're gonna see, I'll blur this out here, but uh, the app, uh, or the API based URL. So you're gonna wanna copy this and that's gonna be the string that you are um, gonna write your information to. Now, like I said, this isn't gonna be secure because uh, if anyone knows the string, they could hit that uh, URL endpoint. Um, so make sure uh, that is okay with you. And again, I'll show you how to do a signed one, which will be more secure at the end, just we'll go over it. But uh, for this testing purposes, I think that is good. All right, so this is kind of where we left off um, on our profile over here. And uh, we're gonna wanna go and do uh, most of the work in our update profile here. But before we do that, um, go to the base of your web uh, folder here and add a .env file, okay? And I'm gonna blur this out, but we're gonna add something called uh, react underscore app. And this is important because react gives you uh, the ability to use environmental variables. But uh, so out of the box, they give you this, but you have to start it with react app and then uh, the name of the actual um, variable you wanna use. So I've added mine here, add yours there, cause we will be using that to upload our images. All right, so once you've done that, come back here and we're just gonna add something to the actual profile.tsx in here. Um, cause we wanna replace this uh, placeholder in case we do have an avatar to uh, show. All right, so we're gonna come below here and we're gonna go data.me.profile.avatar. That's what we need. And then we are gonna open up, uh, give it a question mark and we're gonna open up a ternary operation here. Okay, and then we are going to want to pass in here um, our actual uh, image component. So if we have an avatar, we wanna pass it in as an image. So you wanna pass this in, and this is gonna uh, have our SRC, and it's gonna be to our data.me.profile.avatar. However, we're only gonna be seeing this if we do have an avatar. And if we don't, we wanna use this. So come back here, and we're gonna go like this, and then pass this down. This is getting messy, let's save that. Okay, so this is what it should look like now. So again, if we have an avatar, we'll show our avatar. Um, and we have a width of 150, we changed that a little bit and added a border radius also. So add a border radius 50%, that'll make it a circle. And then uh, if we don't have uh, an avatar, we're just gonna show this same thing again. And I think that's basically all we need for this uh, profile here. So let's go on to actually um, uploading images, the actual good stuff. All right, so we're in our update profile and I want you to come up here to uh, the top here. So we're gonna be using use ref. So we're gonna go const and we're gonna go input file, we'll call it. And that is gonna be equal to uh, use ref. And we wanna bring this in uh, down here. 
and we're just going to set that to null to start there and then we're going to need a couple more things from use state so let's go const and we'll go image and set image and that is equal to use state and then we're just going to pass in an empty string there and then we'll go const and we want to have a loading state here so we'll go image loading because this is going to be outside of our formic here and uh, set image loading here okay and then again that comes from use state and then here we're going to pass in false to start because we are not going to be loading so let's go ahead and start using some of this here let's come down all right so we're going to be in our modal here so the first thing we want to do here is add our input components let's go ahead and do that Okay, so this is our input component here. Now, we're not gonna actually wanna show this, but this is what we're gonna use for file uploading. So we gotta make sure it's a type of file. Uh, the name's gonna be file. We don't actually need a placeholder here probably, um, cause we're not actually gonna be showing this. Uh, the on change, we're gonna create a function called upload image here. So we're gonna pass that in. And then this is from the use ref uh, that we created called input file, which was at the top here. So we're gonna be referencing that. Uh, and then we have a style display none because we don't actually want to show it. All right, so now we're just going to go below this, uh, again, outside of the formic, and we're going to add our actual image and um, kind of the placeholder that we're going to click on if we want to add a new image. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so right now, this is the upload image that we added to our state. So to see if we are uploading the image. So we're gonna have a ternary here, we're gonna have multiple. Uh, so just try to follow along there. So we're gonna have a ternary here and if uh, it is uploading, we're gonna show the loading state here. And if it's not, we're gonna show this. And here we got another ternary. So we're gonna check if there's an avatar. If there is, we have this span with this image inside of it, which is gonna be our image. So if we have an avatar, we're gonna show it by putting data.me.profile.avatar in there. And if not, we are going to have this uh, placeholder uh, that we had before. And in both, we're gonna have this input file.current.click. And this is the use ref that we added up at the top up here. So this is where this is gonna come in and it's gonna reference that. So you have to add uh, current after, and then the click is the function. So on click, we are going to be hitting, uh, where to go? This input here, which we're referencing. Now, kind of the last thing we gotta do is we have this upload image uh, function that we have not created yet. So let's go ahead and do that. Come above the closed modal here, and we'll go const upload image, and we will make this uh, an async function. Here, we're gonna have the E. And then we're gonna have a few things. So we're gonna first go like this, const files, and that's gonna equal e.target.files. Okay, so that's gonna get the files. And we're gonna const data, and that's gonna equal new form, new, sorry, form data. Then below that, we're gonna have data.append, and we're gonna append a few things to this. So we're gonna go data.append, and we're gonna pass in file, and then the files, which we uh, created right here and we're gonna go files at uh, zero here because we only wanna pass in the first one. Now, uh, if you wanna use kind of multiple file uploads uh, or image uploads or whatever you're doing, uh, you'd have to do that a little bit differently, but for now we just want one, so that's good. Then we'll go data.append and we're gonna go here and you have to write upload underscore 
preset and this isn't something we made up with this is a cloudinary thing so you have to the name of the upload preset is going to come second so that's going to be for us uh, darwin there so whatever you named yours call it there that and then we're going to go set image uh, loading here and we're going to set that to true and now we're going to use fetch to hit the uh, cloudinary endpoint so we're going to go const and we're gonna go res and that is equal to await. And we're gonna use fetch here. We're gonna go process.env and then we're gonna add our uh, React app Cloudinary endpoint. Okay, and remember this is what we added from our .env. So all we have to do is process.env and then the name of it and it will bring it in for us. And then we're gonna have a few things, one method, and that's gonna be post, all caps. And then the body is gonna be the data that we have created here. So the body is gonna be the data that we've appended our files to and uh, our preset information and all that. So that is looking good. And then come down below here, and then we're gonna go const file is equal to await res.json and we have to pass it in as json there okay so that is looking good and then we're going to set our image to file.secure underscore url and then finally we're going to go set image uh, loading here and we'll set that to false to show that the image loading has completed okay go ahead and save that all right, and then the last thing we wanna do, you can see when we update our profile, we're just passing in the values. So what we actually wanna do is come in here and we're gonna pass in an object. So we're gonna spread in these values using the spread operator here. And then we're gonna go avatar, avatar, and then we're gonna pass in the image as the avatar and close off our braces there and then go ahead and save that. All right, so we actually wanna change a couple things here because we don't actually wanna know uh, if it's uploaded to the back end yet. We just wanna know if it's on the front end. Uh, so we're gonna change this to the image. This will be the text of the image that we're gonna upload there. And then again here, we just wanna see if the actual image is uh, uploaded before we push it to the back end. So go ahead and uh, save that. And let's come over and we have no uh, avatar yet, so that's good. We're gonna click edit profile. We're gonna come in, the stun's a bit off, but that's all right. We're gonna click on this, and then we're gonna select an image. We're gonna open it up. Oh. Open that bad boy. It's gonna show up there perfectly, so that side's working. Now we're gonna hit update, and hopefully this uh, will update our image, perfect. All right, so that is working good. That is basically image uploads uh, with Cloudinary and React. Now, I do wanna show you quickly how we're you would do secure uploads. We're not gonna implement it because uh, this is a little more time intensive, but I'm just gonna show you an example here. All right, so this is if you wanted to have more secure uploads, you would uh, use the signed uh, upload. So again, uh, you would select in Cloudinary the signed option instead of the unsigned, and then you need to add a few things. So the things you need to add are gonna be a timestamp, and you can do that by, uh, by like this here. Um, you're gonna have your upload preset, that was the same as the other one, and you're gonna need some sort of uh, cryptographic library. So you can download something from NPM. Uh, this is a React Native application, so it's using uh, one that's not, uh, it might be actually uh, React 2, but anyways, some cryptographic um, uh, algorithm here. This is SHA-256, very common one, but there's uh, you could add uh, something else. I would suggest this. And then you're gonna have this text string. So we went back ticks and you're gonna add your timestamp, which is here. Um, you're gonna add your upload preset and your Cloudinary secret API key. And that's on that front page. Let's just go show you there. So that's on this front page. So that's your secret API key, which is right here. Obviously I will not show you that. Okay, so you add that uh, all into one big string and then you're gonna upload uh, upload data.append like we had, and you're just gonna append each of these things. So you're gonna have the file, uh, the API key with your Cloudinary API key, 
uh, your upload preset, uh, your append, your timestamp, and your signature there, all of which come from here. Uh, and then basically everything else is exactly the same. So if you're looking for a more secure way to do your file uploads or your image uploads or whatever to Cloudinary, uh, that is a good way to do it. Anyways, that's it for uh, this video. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, next time, I think we're gonna actually start creating some tweets, so implementing some actual tweet functionality. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.